Hello, Magic viewers. Welcome to yet another box opening, this time for the Dungeons & Dragons Magic Set, which is releasing, well, pre-releasing this weekend. This is a set box of that set, and uh, we will just open it up, see what kind of shiny cards we can crack, from the list as always, and uh, those cool alternate art showcase cards. So, um, not a Dungeons & Dragons player. Some of the cards are interesting to me. Oh, this box is different than normal. Um, but we're just going to kind of open it up, see what we get, and uh, go from there. I hope y'all enjoy. So as always, we are looking for the cards from the list. We got some cool art cards, including, oh, that's kind of cool, the uh, showcase style art, which is from the Monster Manuals. We got a shiny, shiny island. I'll push this down a little bit. I don't know what order these things are in, but we got our showcase style card. Uh, which again is uh, it looks like it's supposed to be from the monster manual i guess from what i've been told we got the commons and uncommons here that share some commonalities as always our rare dancing sword a little animating sword another uh this is the one of the new class enchantments sorcerer class rare and a third rare okay i'm fine with this i have vecna uh, another foil, Deadly Dispute, and a mini. Oops, sorry about that. Uh, so I don't know what the big money cards are in here. I am always looking for, of course, the Planeswalkers. Um, and this is the full, first time that the uh, basic lands have flavor text. So I guess the showcase card is in the front this time, as opposed to normally it's after the rare. Or maybe it's in both. Who knows? Gelatinous Cube, uh, which I've heard jokes of in Futurama, which is always awesome. Second rare Hall of Storm Giants. Foil Bard. Oh, cool. Crown of Empires is our card from the list. One of the uh, first cards, I believe. Oh, not one of the first cards. One of the few cards that is part of a cycle that refer to each other and do things if you control all of them. All right. Another art card. And on the back of this one, instead of... If you notice on the back of the others, it's just, you know, blank text with kind of the number. This kind of shows the, uh, from the monster manual, um, information about the monster on it. Don't know enough about d and I've just read some from the, uh, e online portal things. Because I like keeping track of magic, even though I'm not a D&D &D player. Rare Teleportation Circle. One of the only cards I wanted in this, because it's a uh, updated um, wardrobe closet. Closet, there's a thing. Ochre Jelly. Foil Robe Class. Yeah, this is a uh, Foil Rare, which is awesome. Another card from... Oh, that's, that's a hit. That is a Demonic Tutor, which uh, has been printed a, bit, a few times, but it's still... Uh, that might have just... That's that. I know it's expensive. <laughs> That's all I know. All right, we got a blink dog. Dog. Dog, 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 dog. Uh, land. Some commons, uncommons here. Another class card. Uh, first mythic, I think. Yeah, first mythic. Demi Lich. Foil Dawnbringer Cleric. And a token. Wolf token. Cool little wolf token. Don't know originally what set that wolf token is from. Would have been cool if they'd done uh, new art for that, but nice. I love these art cards. They feel so cool, the glossiness on them. And actually, this is my uh, favorite island flavor text. After careful study, you've determined that the giant ruins serve to track the movement of the planets, and they will soon align once more. Uh, Behe Beholder. Oh, wrong stack there. Our normal commons and uncommons. Monk. Rare Orcus, Prince of Undeath. Another rare Nadar. I wonder if there's just... Oh, I guess, yeah, they did say these ones are two to four rares per pack, so... Uh, Foil Herald of Hadar, which introduced... Well, shows the roll of d20 mechanic in Black Border Magic. It's never been a Black Border Magic before. Ah, and here's one of the new dungeons. There are three of them in uh, Dungeon & Dragons set. They made three dungeons that exist outside the game. You can venture into them at some point in time. And do some things. So, get more art cards. 
base clans. I don't know if I'd originally created a pile for that or not. Uh, Displacer Beast. Yeah, so I guess the uh, the showcase card with the alternate frame is at the front of these packs, which is kind of interesting. The Mimic, classic D and D monster. Um, uh, rare Varus Silvery Silvery Moon Ranger. Not just Silver Moon, Silvery Moon Ranger's longbow. And another tomb with on the back it has the Atropol for forward legendary creature god horror with death touch which this dungeon creates at the end of it so you always once you finish that dungeon you flip it over and you've got the token already there for it art card and then as always in the art cards we're looking for that gold signature somewhere at the bottom it's usually about one per box sometimes two uh, i had an interesting pack the other day of uh a set set booster pack and it had two of the art cards in the front so there we go yes i always need more planeswalkers for my collection so zerial archduke of avernus cool little uh fallen angel i believe from the story uh dwarf hole champion and more many games uh so this is uh adventures in the forgotten realms which i guess is a world in dungeons and dragons somewhere like i said don't know too much about the lore oh that's uh Weird art. That's for uh, Displacer Beast, of course, so you can't really tell where it is. Interesting. And as always, you've got the classic, you know, D&D monsters, D&D uh, characters of a party. Fighter classes are rare. And a foil secret door. Secret door. Secret door behind the wardrobe. Ooh, Icing Death Frost on. Legendary artifact. Created by one of the many dragons in the set. Well, not that many, but there's, there's enough. Enough dragons in the set. Um, it creates one of those and dies. And that's big five headed dragon y thing. I wonder if I can get the, the full arts in that first slot. Because there's full art dragons, there's full art planeswalkers, a lair of the Hydra. Oil compelled duel. Another card from the list. Fractured Power Stone. Well, that's not very useful. Because uh, most there are things that care. It's like, oh, hey, you're gonna roll some dice and you know do things with the numeric values. Doesn't matter with the planar die, which is only used in plane chase, which they're not probably gonna make any more of for a while. Um, they're gonna be kind of cool. I've got the I've got the plane somewhere, but. Uh, I guess it's not a very, it wasn't a very popular set, from what I've been told. I don't know. My friends and I liked it, especially mixed with the commander. Makes for some very long games. Okay, so we got the uh, white with the showcase frame. Um, kind of cool how the background coloration is the color of the card. Also, I didn't realize that the uh, the text box doesn't have the, the lines around it. Like, you know, it's got the normal lines and then it goes into the border. That just doesn't look like it. So, we're going to set that... I guess we'll set that aside. Ooh! Foil Mythic Tiamat. Big dragon. Enters the battlefield. If you cast it, you search your library for up to five dragon cards not named Tiamat. Then you search different names and put them in your hand. And that's, uh, that's pretty sweet. And then, ooh. Gwenwavar? Okay. That's a name of a legendary cat token, I guess. So yeah, a lot of things you'd expect to find in Dungeons and Dragons here. Rolling D20s, um, monsters, dungeons, uh, party members, you know, rogues, rolling D20s. Tragic backstory, greatest flavor text uh, of a card. It's actually a flavor word, like an ability word that doesn't mean anything, but it does a thing and it kind of you know tells the story based on the Dungeons and Dragons things. Uh, Grazalax Ithla... Illithid Scholar. Man, I can't say most of these words. Sepulchre Ghoul. I can say Sepulchre. Another token. Ooh, treasure token. Look at that horn. Horn, and there's a mask. All sorts of cool things in the treasure. Because what's what's a dungeon without some treasure? Alright, we got two-headed giant ogre thing? Sure. Zombie Ogre. Uh, Orb of Dragonkind. Nice addition for a Dragon Dex. And of course, Magic players love their dragons. Unexpected Windfall. 
Another card from the list, the Muscle Sliver. I think it's been the, on the list for a while. So a friend of mine opened one the other day out of a different set booster. They changed some of the cards over the list, but not all of them. Um, every set, so that's a creepy looking stalagmite. Stalagmite? Yeah, stalagmite. Couple chef one here. See a guard approach. You kick in the door. You hold a bag. Another mythic? Acer. Acerarek? I thought it was just Acerak. Acerarek? The Archlich. Another mythic. Nice. And this is the only card in the set that cares about which dungeon you've completed if you haven't completed the Tomb of Annihilation. Uh, we got a foil of the Showcase Cloister Gargoyle. Ah, the foiling on that's kind of tame. It's just the background, really, that I can tell. So, but we'll set that aside because it is different. We got a zombie token. Uh, running about halfway through this box. Um, some cool cards, some spicy cards. Um, you know, one Planeswalker for the collection, which are not Planeswalkers in the traditional sense of magic. Um, they are the Planeswalkers of the sets. So they have different rules, so they're not canon magic, um, but they're basically very powerful beings in the... Also, Brunor Battlehammer, wielding an axe? I don't think so. Flavor fail there. In a set that's basically all about the flavor, they fail the map. Where is a Frog Hemoth? Foil bar the gate. And a, an angel token. Oh, that's an ominous angel token. We got, ooh. Neat. Blink dog. Black dragons. Dragons. White dragon. Dragon. Flump. Defender flying. When it's still down, you and target opponent each draw a card. I can see this being played in Commander. Uh, rare Delina Wild Mage. Uh, already has Errata because create one of those tokens, roll again. There's a card that lets you roll additional dice, and it's a creature, so you can roll additional dice. And if you had to roll again, it could create an infinite loop. Scaled Herbalist. And another mine. That is all three of the different dungeons. Um, I think those are more common than... Most tokens. That's a nice dragon art card. Direwolf Prowler. Dragon. Technically a dragon. Dragon Bard. Introduction of the Bard creature type 2 magic. Black Staff of Waterdeep. Foil Vampire Spawn. And magic. Versus Hydra, who wins? Don't have too much else to say about this set. Um, I'm kind of medium on it. Medium. I'm not a I'm not a Dungeons and Dragons player, so I'm not as um, super stoked for this. Okay, that does look kind of cool. This is uh, another one of their showcase things. It uh, appears in like seven of their lands to look like dungeon modules of old. Um, yeah, that doesn't look too bad. Not you know overly excited about it. Goblin Assassin. They had another Goblin in the play. Each player flips coin. Each player's coin flips a tail. Sacrifices a creature. Hmm. Five mana, two, two. Maybe sacks a creature for an opponent, and you probably have to sacrifice a creature because your luck is never going to be good with that card. Yeah, that doesn't sound like a good, good, good play. There we go. There's one of the cool signatures. If I can get this better in focus. And this is Sudden Insight. Neat. Usually when you get the gold signature, it's a really good pack all the way down. We'll see if that holds true for me and my luck. Critical hit. Triumphant Adventure. Lost a few games of, to this in, uh, I did a draft the other day on Arena. And uh, lost to this thing. First Strike Death Touch. Attacks mentioned in the dungeon. There's nothing to go wrong there. Cave of the Frost Dragon. Well, you find a Cursed Idol. And another card from the list, Saber Ants. Whenever it's all down, you can put that many 1-1 one -one green insect creature tokens into play. Eh, should probably play that more often than Commander. I mean, Blasphemous Act, cool. Just make a bunch of insects? Sure. Seems like a great idea. 
uh, foil. Ooh, did I set, where did I set my foil? Oh, I, I have a foil pile. Got a foil swamp. Underdark Basilisk. We got some equipment, some things that care about equipment, things that care about creatures, more dragons, because dungeon, Dungeons and Dragons set. Dragon. Mind Flayer. Foil Hobgoblin Captain. And another tomb with another afterfall. So that's two of that uh, dungeon. We've got one of each of the others. We'll see what else we get. Let's see how many we can get. Oh, another foil. Foil planes. We got some legendary creature. Ambushed on the road by a purple worm. Dragon. Oh, another mythic Tiamat. This one non foil, regular. We got a foil chattering skeletons. And Dungeon of the Mad Mage. Alright, so we're on to the last stack of packs here. Um, only one Planeswalker, so we could use uh, a couple more of those. I'd, or I'd like a couple more of those. Whether or not I'm going to get them is somebody else's question. But, that's what I'm hoping for. Mimic. Not too much else to say about this set. White. A black creature called White. Sure. Foil Null Hunter. Another card from the list. Oh, that actually feels thicker than normal. Um, Stasis Snare with the cool uh, game day promo art. Huh. That's a neat card to have on the list. Kind of like having those promos out there in other places, but it does also kind of feel like it's diminishing the people who won those promos back in the day. Um, but I do like having those arts out there. Um, just because, you know, more people with cool different arts. And I mean, it's not even that different of an art. It's still, you can still sell it's a stasis snare. Um, but you just uh, have the cool extended art. And I think it was only available on foil at the time. Uh, Loyal Warhound. Um, definitely a good card because it's a Knight of the White Orchid. Basically. But it's a dog. It's a dog with a, a dwarf rider. Dog. Guild Thief. And token card. Actually, that's a ad card. Uh, there's nothing about it, so we get rid of that entirely. We do not need, we do not need no stinking ads. We're still buying enough magic cards, <laughs> a lot of them. Ooh, ooh, that's a cool looking signature, uh, and it's for the uh, demi lich that we opened earlier. So it's another gold foil um, stamped uh, card with the demi lich. That's a cool looking signature, actually. Okay, yeah. So you can't open the full art. Uh, I guess common or uncommon. Maybe there's a rare in that that you can open as well, but Full Art Red Dragon, it's uh, pretty cool. I'm going to put that over with the cool cards. Not that these ones aren't cool, the uh, just the normal showcase versions, but let's be, re let's be real, the uh, the dragon looks really cool with Full Art. The Full Art's always look cool. Treasure Vault, first artifact land legal and standard since they all got banned back in Mirrodin Block, which uh, I played... I didn't play enough at that time. I started shortly after that, about a year, year and a half after that. But all the artifact lands were banned in standard at some point. Besides this one, so maybe they can keep the uh, record going and ban this one as well. Probably not good enough to be banned, especially with all the without all the abusive power things. But hey, uh, mythic inferno of star mounts. Um, can be countered, flying haste, and if you turn its power into 20, it deals 20 damage somewhere. So well, that'll be fun to lose to in commander. What a neat way to die. Full token. Coming up on the last few packs here. I still only see the one planeswalker, but we've got a decent amount of mythic, so I don't think we can complain too much. That is a cool forest forest. That is a cool forest artwork. Like look at that castle in the background. Oh, I love little love to live there. But I'd love to live uh, basically anywhere because I like living. Air Zorn, you would create one more treasure token to create those tokens plus an additional treasure token. Huh. I feel like that's insane in commander with the uh, academy manufacturer. Monk class. Foil Yuan T. Malison. Cool foil rare. We will put that in the mythic stack. Why not? A 
we're, we're not playing by any rules here. These are my rules. I'm opening this box. I never get this uh, cool artwork. Uh, I never get the uh, right orientation for the art card anyway, so we're just kind of going with it. Don't ask too many questions. Rare Warpal Sword. The uh, kill a player on a stick. Foil Moon Bless Cleric. Neat. Another card from the list. Reduced memories on the list now? Really? We're just here on Strixhaven. I want older cards. Cards that I didn't open a dozen of in a single box. Oh well. Cool little. That's a dragon's head. Grim Bounty. Can read it. Grim Bounty. He killed a dragon. Took its head. Took its head clean off. Actually, I don't know if it's that clean. Um, rare. Guardian of Faith. Phasing. Phasing back in a standard magic set. Neat. Ray of Enfeeblement. And another mine. I think that is definitely all three dungeons twice over. Uh, this pack's going to be difficult. Doesn't want us to see the goodies that lie within. Art card for a Tarask, which is apparently a big creature. Fifty feet of rope. Who doesn't need fifty feet of rope? Rare. Minion of the Mighty in the alternate art style. And a foil Gretchen Titchwillow. Yeah, that doesn't sound strange at all. But it's blue-green cards, so of course it has to draw you cards and put lands on the battlefield, because they didn't learn their lesson with Oko. Ooh, cool. We got a foil of that one with the really cool flavor text. I like that. Uh, put it in the foil stack. This is the second last pack. We got one left after this. Rare is Dungeon Descent. Why right, is the battlefield tapped? Why does it need to end the battlefield tapped? Would it be broken if you could tap a legend, untap legendary creature you control to venture into the dungeon? Like, that's what's breaking this card. Another rare wizard spell book. Uh, actually, this is probably one of the few cards I wanted from this set, really, because it's, uh, yeah, it's seven mana, but roll a d20 and you might be able to cast a bunch of spells with it. Sounds cool to me. Our foil, purple worm. Uh, another tomb. All right, last pack. Thanks for bearing with me through this. Um, Sut, gelatinous cube art card. We will go through and see what goodies come out of this last pack. Drizzt Dewarden. Oh, that's what makes a uh, Gwen Hovar. Foil Null Hunter. So, one Planeswalker, um, some cool mythics, some cool foils. Um, I'm really sad that the uh, only full art that I got was the Red Dragon. There's like full arts of uh, all the Planeswalkers, um, I think all the dragons. So, anyway, thanks for bearing with me through this, and uh, stay safe.